Uh, well, I don't know. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I want. I want to like. I want to know a bit more about these things. Uh, I always had a fascination with arms, armament. You know, uh, playing cops and robbers, that sort of thing. And uh, I know a lot of young women uh, were in the same kind of scenarios, you know. Uh, it's just childhood. Tomboys, you know. And uh, not I don't I don't like using sissy boys. Sissy is a is a bad is a bad way to describe the terminology. Um, s softer men, more thoughtful. You know, because, uh, you know, again, the terminology does matter. And I said this about the response to uh, to the Major General in Australia. Uh, that, you know, again, the language can either obfuscate or it can clarify, right? It can either make things uh, clear as mud or as, uh, you know, or as thick as pea soup. <laughs> that's like a double entendre but not double entendre it's a double negative rather and I don't know I, I'm, I'm just uh, again the metaphors that I, I, I'm, I'm thinking about when I hold this knife here you know this thing and like it's it's used it, it, it has it has marks on it right there's paint paint chips missing from it it's lived a life outside of me uh, before it come, came into, into my possession. So, I've, again, I, I said this in, in one of the other, vi other videos. I've never held a fair, a fair burn. Uh, they want to, I keep saying fair bean, a fair burn. Fairburn in my life, of Fairburn Sykes. And, and again, this is this is going to be with me uh, probably uh, for the 100th anniversary of the Air Force uh, because I might not have uh, enough money to do two trips uh, for my birthday on, on April, April 27th. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, of course, as I mentioned, uh, this doesn't really belong to me, right? Uh, I will buy another one. I, I might buy a few of them, actually. Uh, and I, I was thinking about this, you know, as a good idea, is uh, the symbolic nature of, of you know, turning your, your, your swords into plowshares, and then I will end up using one of these Fairburns as a palette knife, you know, actually painting something, right? Let's say something like that, like holding it like this. Because there's there's more than one way to fight, right? And as I I, I continuously wipe my what well, cleaning cleaning this and wiping my fingerprints from it, and I'll probably put it in the dishwasher before I hand it over. I gotta find I'd be able to find um, a decent uh, sheath for it because you know handing someone a knife just like this is kind of threatening if you ask me. You know it's like the whole point of the salute, right? Is to show that you're not armed and you're not hostile. Same with uh, clearing the chamber for inspection, right? And I would, I might, I might, I'm tempted to, to do the old, the old command metal thing, but I, you know, this is a ceremonial knife, right? This is this is a trophy. The, the fact that you know it has the etching on it. Uh, so, you know, again, fascination, childhood fascination with, with weapons and fighting. Um, and since this is International Women's Day, I will, I will only politicize this one video because the other videos were, were about other people, uh, and about, uh, a collective force, uh, that, you know, again, I've mentioned this in the history propaganda numerous times, you know, and I'll try to keep this under 10 minutes. 
um, the the importance of of strong male leadership in order for for any any version of feminism to to survive, right? Because without strong men, there is there is no strong women, right? What what does it? You know, what, uh, how many decisions by men uh, led to the liberation of women? Right? It was just, it was always a uh, a team effort. And and, and uh, a collection of like-minded people that you know gets to the, the avant-garde, right, to the tip of the spear, and pushes and pushes it forward, right. Now, just like Fairburn, he says in in, in on what's it? Um, I think it's uh, I downloaded this recently. I think it's this is uh, all in fighting. Or let me go. Let me follow this for a second here. I'm also very careful as to how I place this on my desk. <laughs> you know, it, it leaves very easily, very easily, leaves an impression on the maple. Okay. Let's look for it. Uh, whatever. Anyway, so Fairburn says, you know, you have to hold this thing with uh, a light touch, right? And it's always on the offhand, quite frankly. You never... It's, it's, it's an oxymoron, right? You approach someone who's right-handed, you better be good with your left hand and vice versa. So it, it, it's uh, <laughs> the old left versus right-handed people thing. And it's it, just like me and a rivet gun. I know how to shoot with, a right, with my right hand, with my pinky finger, my middle finger, whatever position is required in order to get the job done with the, the, the correct amount of force. Uh, and, and that's, uh, you know, again, that, that, that relates to fair, the Sykes's, uh, experience to the both of them being policemen in Shanghai. Um, so really to, to enforce something new within a culture, uh, again, takes collective effort. If I were to steal from, uh. I say oblivion, right? It's uh, do you make an effective team? And personally, I'm not an effective team right now. Uh, again, calling out for uh, a woman to join me in this. Uh, and it's, it's ironic, actually, it's, I find it hilarious that me running suicide prevention through Shirtless Bro, I have <laughs> I have a deadly weapon in my hand here. Uh, it's just, and I have I freaking a poisonous cacti over there and, and and i was wondering to myself you know well the only thing i'm missing right now is a c7 e2 or maybe a c9 <laughs> yeah the symbolism is everything especially uh, going looping back to what i was saying with uh, using one of these as as a palette knife right and we have bad wolf sitting over here and those of you that are, 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 are have been paying attention and then know, uh, this painting here, here, is something very special. It's very special. Uh, and I've waited a while uh, to really put it down because of uh, the, the, the matters of, of pra pragmatism.
uh, I got some more reading to do on this. I would love, again, I would love to do an entire video on just fighting knives and their, their origins from, say, stilettos uh, and uh, tantos, even, and then the reason when there were cult cultural origins of each of these knives. In my collection, I would, I, I would like to have a kukri, uh, a, a one of these, obviously, a k-bar, right? Uh, then there's, there's a couple of others from other different, uh, not that, from, ah, shit, uh, from, I, I, my brain's faltering right now. Ah, yeah, from Czech, Czech, the Czechoslovakia, Czechoslovakia. This is nice, too. As a, a tight Utah Woodland Type 95. 95. And that's the... <laughs> this one's got a stamping on it, 0007. And it has a couple of... It has other stuff, so it has a wood wood saw and a sharpening stone with some, some paracord for a lanyard. Now, I put my paracord bracelet on on the handle, the door handle of uh, the, the wolf, uh, the wolf school of <laughs> making a uh, making a Witcher reference there, uh, wolf school of, of, of aviation uh, up there at the airport. So uh, that uh, got thrown out as far as I know. So I'll just have to make another one. You know, I, I, I'm amazed at the simplicity of this. And, and again, the simplest solution is most likely to be the correct one. And the correct, the correct, the correct solution is again, to cut through the bullshit, go back to the basics, go back to what was working, right? Um, not culturally, uh, necessarily, but pragmatically, right? Because it's about getting something done and not necessarily about filling, filling out hurt feelings reports, but building people up from the, the culture for which they, 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 they leave in the civilian world, asking me, uh, as, as a, you know, a professional idiot, um, and making them into something better, giving, giving them that opportunity, right? The, the pride and the ego, right? Not, not, not the super ego, not, not too much, right? And that's, that's a real balance to form, to, to form people into, into fighting, uh, into a fighting force, not just for their own lives, but also for their own communities once they retire and, and, and they, um, they leave the fighting force, right? The, I, I experienced this myself with the skills that I use and by my own example, it, thy own self be true, right? That's, that's the full phrase, the, by my example, thy own, thy own self be true. Now, now that I'm thinking about that, let's, let's think about the, the nth degree. Do thy own self be true. From Act 1, Scene 3, Hamlet, spoken by King Claudius. Uh, Chief Minister Polonius, as part of a speech. Ooh, that's sharp. <laughs> that's freaking sharp. Just the weight of this knife. Could pierce someone's skin on that very tip. Anyways, so again, the knife, the knife, the knife is not is definitely not a, not a statement about transgenderism or uh, circumcision by any means. Uh, that would be sick and twisted. 
to use something like this in such an act, but they, they use even cruder, even more crude tools and, and less le and duller, even more dull tools than, than this one. And that, that's, that's scary. Right. Um, just, just putting that in there. Uh, so before I end this video, because, you know, again, this is whatever to be, to know yourself is to, to love thyself. Right. And if I'm going to reference more religious tones, um, we are all God's creation. Right. Um, so here's a full text of Polonius's speech there, my blessing with thee and these few precepts in, in thy memory, look thou character, give thy thoughts, no tongue nor any unproportioned thought his act. Be thou familiar, but that by no means vulgar. Uh, those friends thou hast and thou adoption tried, grapple them unto thy soul with hoop of steel. But do not dull thy palm with entertainment of each new hash of fledgling comrade. Beware of entrance to a quarrel, but being in, bear that thy oppressed may beware of thee. Give every man thy ear, but few thy voice. Take each man's censure, but reserve thy judgment. Costly thy habit as thy purse can buy, but not expressed in fancy, rich, not gaudy, for the apparel oft proclaims the man. And they in France of the best rank and station are of, of, are of a most select and generous chief in that. Neither a borrower nor a lender be, for loan oft losses both itself and friends, and borrowing dulls the edge of husbandry. This above all, to thy own self be true. And it must fall as the night and the day. Thou canst not then be false to any man. Farewell, my blessing season in this, in this, in this in thee. So that's very similar to, um, I would say what, uh, Very similar to uh, again, my, my my memory is failing me right now. Uh, Rudyard Kipling's uh, "If," right? If, right? There is 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 a, is a choice in life. This is the lethal, right? This is the lethal. Well, that's the non-lethal side. There's the lethal, and there's the non-lethal. But sometimes to save someone is to relieve them of that life, right? Revenge doesn't bring back the dead, but it can give a semblance of justice to the victims. I'm going to steal from someone else here today. Cut through the bullshit. but build on, on the progress that has been laid by other people. And that, that's a real hard thing to do. Give you a real hard thing to do. That is all. Really just like a 20 minute thing about a knife. <laughs> yeah. A 20 minute video about a letter opener. I'm losing it.